Previously on Phoenix Wright, Spirit of Justice. Your Majesty, our deductions weren't wrong after all. Despite Minister Ingo being murdered at 2 p.m., he was seen heading into the Tomb of 2.30, and I'll tell you how. It was the deceased being channeled. And there are only two people capable of spirit channeling here in Karine. Her Eminence Queen Garan and Maya Fey. It's possible that one of them was channeling the minister. Prosecutor, what was I doing at 2.30 p.m., the time at which my husband was seen? You were on the toilet, your eminence. And now, back to the present. Welcome back to Phoenix Ride, everybody. We're going into trial day two a little further in this time. In the last episode, well, the previous leads will probably tell us what happened, but... We called Maya to the witness stand. I don't know if she's actually okay yet. We haven't seen her since she passed out. After being stuck in a chair for six days. And being tied up in it. So, talking about some really close shaves. Good thing, I, I'm glad I don't have to do that on my face anyway. Well, you can't get closer shaved than Headsman's brand blades, that's for sure. <laughs> Ugh, we're looking a little more exhausted now. Trial's not even over yet and I'm already exhausted. Oh, all this talking and standing here. Well, it's mental, you know, it does happen. Still, you were able to fight back the Queen herself in there. Well, maybe with Miss Faye's help, I won't have to keep on playing her game much longer. Speaking of which, I guess it's a little late to be asking, but, uh, do you think she's well enough to testify, Mr. Wright? She slept all day yesterday out of exhaustion, apparently. But that's all it was, so she should be okay. Bobbed head! Horned head! You guys, how you doing? <laughs> oh, hello, your benevolence. Is everything okay? Princess Rafa, you were really impressive in there. Yeah, you did the same thing you've done like a hundred times, but... I am the royal priest... Well, there was that too, Rafa yeah. Padma Kurain. Yes. And I am prepared to face my father's death! Man! How many people ever have to say that? Despite your mother's opposition, you stood your ground. And in doing so, you fulfilled your duty as the royal priestess. Impressive, Star Fox. It was, it was all thanks to you and your friends. Your belief in me gave me the courage to follow my path. So, um, I, you have my gratitude. Yeah, alright. Don't mention it. I know, I shall thank you with a gift. What would you like, a cow, a horse? Or perhaps I shall reward your efforts with a royal shoulder massage. No, that's okay. <laughs> Your gratitude is more than enough. Thanks. But I thought you Americans liked massages. Oh, believe me, we do. There's nothing better in the world, or so I hear. I've never actually had one. Are those really worth it? I don't know. I'm th I've thought about it. I'm just afraid I would gross out the massage therapist because I would fart while I'm in there or something. My technique was highly praised by my father, I'll have you know. At least he believed in me. Well, yeah, you guys do too, though. Hey, you lawyers! Hey, dude, where's the accused man? I can't wait to tell him uh, what I just heard. Dirk? That's a good question. Did he escape? What are you doing in here with your old big-ass lips? Look at you. Oh my god. <laughs> like, seriously, dude. I blew it big time, AJ. Dad? Shut up, dude! What's going on? This scoundrel tried to escape with the accused man. What? We were able to nab him, but the accused is nowhere to be found. Where are you hiding him, you miscreant? I keep telling you, I got no idea where he went. I mean, yeah, we booked it together. But I lost track of him after that. So Dirk's on the lamb now? Probably, but who knows? He vanished in the blink of an eye. V vanished? You want to know something, AJ? Dirk said to me, I can't put Amor in danger. I have to set it free before it's too late. So he's doing it now while everybody's in the courtroom. Oh. That's so sweet, though. Oh my god, that's so romantic. It's like when Robin Hood saves Maid Marion. He's like, Marion, will you marry me? And he says it while they're swinging on the rope. Oh, that's what I am telling you. That's why I helped him escape in the first place. Dad, do you realize what you've done? You have messed up more things in this case, and in case three, than I could even count, but you're still cool. Why did you choose to go rescue her now? 
Maybe he didn't want to die with any regrets or some. You know, just in case he ended up on the chopping block. Yeah. Why, Dirk? I thought you believed in me. Oh, don't be like that, AJ. He'll be back as soon as he frees Amara. You'll see. That's not the point, Dad. Hey, listen, lawyer, dude. You let us know immediately if the accused contacts you, okay, man? I'll give you my number. You can keep that in case you ever want to go out for, uh, some brewski or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the trial will now zoom. See that you're ready. Wait, the trial's still on? Even without the defendant? Look at this gun. What do you think it means? I think it means we better get in there. <laughs> All we can do is see where the next testimony leads. Okay, but say he gets found guilty, what then? Do we just get executed and not him? Like, what would actually happen there, I wonder? Would they actually go through with executing us? Without having a chance to... Like, would they... Like, would they wait until they found him first, or... Now then, let us resume the trial at hand. Left hand or right hand, your majesty? I need to know all the details. <laughs> I just want to know how much time I have. My client seems to have gone missing. Oh, what do you think, your eminence? Should we proceed without the accused? Oh, we don't need his ass in here anyway. Both of my swirly boots would be too just fine. Why not? My royal guard is searching for him as we speak. They shall find him soon enough, for they would not dare keep me waiting. Yeah, but well, what about the law governing court proceedings? I am the Senate! Wow, here she goes again. From now on, the defendant doesn't have to be there for the court to go today. Hmm, should the accused be an enemy of the crown? They may be tried in absentia. Absentia. I know what it means, I've just never said it. Well, in that case, I guess there's no problem with proceeding. Yeah, there we go. It's okay, I mean, does it really... Maybe it's better if he's not here, so he doesn't have a chance to, you know, pop off or say something that pisses her off. Well, witness Miss Maya Ferry, please approach the stand. Is she here? We didn't even, like, talk to her before. How you doing, girl? Girl? Sorry to summon you like this, Maya, after all we've been through. Ugh, getting dragged out of bed and into court is not exactly a fun wake-up call, Nick. I'm sorry, Miss Faye. It was my idea. Who are you? Oh my god, they've never met! That's so weird! Right, I'm Apollo Justice. It's nice to finally meet you. Oh, so you're Apollo. Nick's told me all about you and how much you suck. <laughs> you're the new guy with the loud voice and a bit of an unreliable streak, right? Well, she's cheerful now. Well, that was two years ago. You've come a long way since. So why was I called here anyway? Oh, she's so cute. Uh, even at 28. That is how old she is, right? You know what? Let's check it out. <laughs> she is 28. Damn, I'm good. Good at remembering numbers, apparently. Am I under arrest again? No, no, no. I guess no one's filled her in. Ew. Well, she has been asleep this entire time. Ew! Miss Faye, this is a trial for Dirk Sadmati. Do you know who that is? And you're here as a witness. What? D Dirk's been arrested. But he didn't do anything wrong. That's not exactly the reaction I was expecting. Miss Faye, you were suspected of playing a part in the murder of Justice Minister Ingo. What? Really? I... Okay. Someone allegedly forced you to channel the minister to obfuscate the time of his murder. Oh, okay, yeah, that thing. I was gonna say, wait a minute here. Oh, so at least that is what the defense claims. Wait, what? How could you, Apollo? How did you even reach that conclusion? Long story. It's the only way this whole case makes any sense, though. At least, the, as we see it now. You know, it's like, what other facts are going to turn out to not be true, and then we have to turn around and retcon everything even related to those facts in our heads. Right there on the seat of our pants. I'm no good at that shit, but whatever, okay. Your understandable anger at the defense aside, will you testify, Miss Faye? Yes, your majesty. I guess. 
just you and Maya. Just tell us anything you know. Like, we can figure this out. Channeling the Minister. Oof. Oh, I don't have any idea what's going on, but... I know I didn't channel Mr. Inga. I didn't even have the chance to do something like that. Besides, I never go quietly along with some criminal's plan. Oh, I guess there are some things I'd go quietly along with. What is that supposed to mean? Seems the witness doesn't believe she has ever channeled Justice Minister Inga. Well, I like, how would she know? I mean, it's one thing to talk about, you know, what the spirit remembers, but what does the channeler remember? It's probably not that much. I mean, I'm guessing she doesn't remember stuff she did as Dahlia, you know. And if her words prove to be true, defense, your entire argument becomes moot. Ah, <laughs> like my boot to the head. You do understand that, don't you? Yes, of course. Of course. Hmm. Doesn't seem like Miss Faye is lying. Apollo? She's not. Maya was being awfully secretive about something just now. But I guess I better dig a bit and try to get her to open up to me first. Easier said than done, pal. Easier said than done. How did this much time go by and she never met him? That's crazy. I guess he was pretty busy. Well, it seems obvious that we gotta press that fifth statement, but I guess we'll do everything here. You've been asleep ever since you were rescued from the tomb, right? Mm-hmm. I was exhausted after being held captive for so long. That must have been terrible. Maya, Minister Inga didn't do anything to you, did he? What? No! <laughs> it wasn't like that. He's gay! He wouldn't even touch me. I mean, on the contrary, I asked him for all sorts of things. Really? Like soda and crackers? Like, I'm really craving burgers, and I'll die if I miss an episode of The Plumed Punisher. Acting like a brat netted me a TV and even a few burgers from someplace. <laughs> he was surprisingly nice to me. Ugh. Are you sure we're talking about the same guy here? Well, that is the real trick, isn't it? I mean, I'd like to think he was nice, but he was stamping all those things, you know, to put people to death. I mean, I don't know, unless... It makes me want to go back and look at that conversation again, just to make sure it wasn't... That it's not possible he could have been stamping something else there. He was just stamping those things like a madman. I mean, it was just an animation, but still. He may have loomed large, but he was unexpectedly easy to push around. Even though he's the one who was responsible for pushing those execution papers through. Ah. Oh, that. Approving executions was simply his preferred method of stress relief. I mean, I suppose if it is the law, he's not really doing anything, you know, unethical by law standards, you know. I don't know. It's like you watch the Green Mile and they put a person to death in the electric chair. You don't hate them. You don't think they're bad people. I mean, it's been, I mean, not even the guard who pulls the, you know, who throws the switch, you know. You don't hate him either. At least I don't. With a wife like her, he was probably really pushing them through out of fear. <laughs> You need to see why he wanted to stage a coup. In any case, my time in captivity wasn't so bad, but of all the things that happened... Poofy cheeks! <laughs> I know I didn't channel Mr. Inga. That's gross, man. You saw how bad... You know, you just, I already... I had enough of a time channeling that other guy. My legs still haven't recovered from that. Are you sure about that? Maybe you just don't remember channeling him. Don't remember! I may be 28, but I'm not senile, you know. Something's not right here. Miss Faye, you were confined to Amra's tomb the whole time, is that correct? Uh, yeah. But I wasn't conscious the whole time. I did sleep, you know. Okay then, let me ask you something. Did you ever see Nana in the tomb, dressed as Dirk? Oh my god. Huh. Is this some kind of joke? I think I'd remember if I saw something as crazy as that, yeah. Plus, I doubt anyone would carry out a crime like that right in front of a potential witness. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have the chance to do something like that. Hold it. You did, are you sure? You didn't have a chance to channel him. Does channeling someone take a long time? <laughs> 
Oh, you've got some catching up to do, boy. Not really, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty much instantaneous. But I was all tied up, literally. <laughs> so there was no way for me to make the channeling move draw with my hands to do it. Right. I guess you really didn't channel Inga then. Maya, when mediums are done with the session, they can send the spirit back to the other world themselves, right? Most of the time. Sure, unless they're still in training, amateurs can get possessed by spirits sometimes. But full-fledged mediums can stay in total control of a session. And they can send the deceased spirit away anytime they want. So I think you can do that too, Miss Faye. Damn right! What, do you think I'm gonna stand under those waterfalls to improve my... Uh, so I could move to Canada? It's a cinch for the new and improved Mystic Maya Faye, Ace Spirit Medium. MMFASM. R. That's strange, you seem like the same old childish Maya to me. Nick! I'll show you childish Nick! Get over here! Jeez. Kick your ass, man. Besides, I never qu quietly along with some criminal's plan. Hold it! And I believe it. So you wouldn't channel spirits for unseemly purposes. Of course not! Spirit channeling is my bread and butter. And I take a lot of pride in my work, I'll have you know. It's like, would you use your legal skills to commit a crime, Apollo? Well, uh, <laughs> let me think about that. Until finger-pointing and objecting become deadly, I don't see how they can be used. Wow, you're a regular Mr. Smarty Pants, just like Nick. <laughs> Always at the ready with some sarcastic comeback. I think I'll save my many objections for after the trial. <laughs> yes, please. Anyway, I never go along with something like murder. <clears throat> and then this one, the one I'm really curious about. Hold it! Sounds to me like you're trying to hide something, Miss Faye. Uh, didn't anyone teach you about respecting boundaries, Apollo? It's really rude to pry into a person's private affairs. Sorry, I didn't realize. Oh. Uh, wait, we're in a court of law. Yeah, I know. But so? It's still a video game, too. What was all that about me being rude? I'm just doing my job. Oh, sorry. Uh, so please, just tell me, what exactly are you hiding? Sorry, but I promised Dirk I wouldn't say. Oh, no. Apparently, everybody made a promise to Dirk. Pretty big one. I think this is about all you're gonna get out of her. Yeah, is it- this, does it have something to do with that truth, you know? Did he tell her what the truth was and then tell her not to tell me? Did, wait- oh, oh, I forgot about you. Jeez. Enough! The witness is denying that she channeled any spirits. Further questioning is pointless. It appears your little fiction has been soundly exposed for what it is. Is she wearing purple skin on her midriff? I just realized you could see her belly button. Well, no, that's more like abs, but, uh... You should listen to her, Apollo. I don't even know why you suspected me in the first place. I mean, you don't have any evidence of me channeling Mr. Inga, do you? Uh oh uh, evidence, huh? Do I or do I not? There's no point in even thinking about it, really. I don't use anything special to channel spirits, so there wouldn't be anything left behind. That's true. Just like when she channeled the High Priest, all Maya needs is her own body. If the defense has no evidence to offer, I will have to end this cross-examination. What now? Even if she doesn't use any special items to do the channeling itself, you think there would be something to complete the deception. Hmm. Is there any proof that Justice Minister Angel was channeled? I think there might be. You bet there is. Really? There's a couple of things I'm thinking of here. You're bluffing, I take it. Yeah, don't say it out loud. I'll be fine. If we're right, then there must be some sort of proof to back us up. Time to do some serious thinking of hollow justice. Okay, we know that when Rafa saw her father, 
He wasn't dressed like Miss Faye, right? <laughs> right, because if he was, that would look really weird. Yeah. So that means he got changed. He was dressed in his usual suit when Rafa saw him. Aha! Good thinking, Apollo. This might be the perfect angle to attack. I was thinking of the button. That was one of the things that covered in soot. But I wasn't sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm still not sure how that fits, though. So maybe she... I was gonna say, like, maybe she forgot one, but no, there was, like, an extra one at the scene. Well, the other thing was when we searched the crime scene, we found, like, a bunch of Magatamas on the floor. But I don't think we have that in evidence, do we? My beloved attorney's badge, wearing it gets me raring to go. And they're talking about his clothing. This is the only thing that has anything to do with his clothing that we have, so... It just feels like that's probably the direction we're taking it. Take that! Is that a gemstone? We found this among the ashes of one of the tomb's incense burners. Does this gemstone ring any bells, your eminence? Wait a minute, let me look at something. After he di oh, you can't see. I was gonna see if all of his buttons were on his jacket here, but he's on his stomach, so you can't really see. Okay, uh, does this gemstone ring any bells, your eminence? What? What was that doing in the tomb? Ah, oh, so you do recognize it, but then as his wife... How could you not recognize this gemstone bun from your husband's jacket? How many times have you undone those things? Well, I don't get where you're going with this. Channeling Minister Inga alone wouldn't be enough to fool someone like Princess Rafa. Especially if he were wearing your clothes. <clears throat> so well, you would have had to change into the minister's clothes before channeling him. Yep. Miss Faye, you used the minister's clothes as cover while going from his room to the tomb. Yum. Where you burned them once you no longer needed them. Oh, there we go. Seems genuinely surprised by that, Apollo. That actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's sort of, because, I don't know, wouldn't there be like four buttons there instead of this one, but... But whatever. It's strange how that kind of parallels the bullets. There should be four instead of one, but yeah, whatever. Yes. No. Do you know my husband's name? It was, um, Inga Karkul Kurain. Right? Uh-oh. That is correct in part, but there's more. Much more. Okay. What the hell? No, wait, wait, I need to read that over. Wait, can you... Here, hang on, let me look here. Inga Karkul, how could this name be on Ilaga or on a pompous Danit already? How could this name be on a law or my pompous done it already? Walls already is okay. Karine the third. <laughs> that is his true name. Could it be any longer? Due to its length, only a portion of it was ever made public. So, Miss Faye, did you know his true name? Nope. I mean, how could I? Precisely. Yet a medium must know both the face and true name of the one who she seeks to channel. Oh. Uh, so that's the fact it wasn't true then. Well, I mean, we weren't, I don't know, if oh, we were trying to prove it in the first place. You can't really say that it ever was in the first place, but... Uh, so then Miss Faye couldn't have channeled Mr. I Minister Inga? That's what I've been saying this whole time! Why would I want to randomly channel some old guy I didn't know? And didn't like, thanks to that last trial. I can't believe this. Apollo, I really don't think Maya's lying. However, your line of reasoning still seems credible to me. I agree, but there's something tripping us up in the details. Maybe we're working off of some wrong assumption again? 
Um, Apollo? I was thinking... Yes. Since I didn't channel Minister Inga, is it possible that someone else did? There you go. Someone else? But who else could it have been? Here we go. I haven't thought about that. I haven't thought that far yet. Well, that's okay, because I have some ideas. Such chatter is without merit. Let us move on, shall we? Urk oh I don't care what Garan says, I'm gonna figure this out. If it wasn't Miss Faye and the Queen has an alibi, then Apollo, forget about who is capable of channeling spirits for a second. I should consider the circumstances around the channeling, right? Right. We know Rafa saw her father come running out of his private quarters. If he was being channeled at the time, who could it have been? Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I'm waiting, defense, and you know how much I despise waiting. Yes, but there is someone else besides Miss Faye who could have channeled Mr. Inga. There is just one more person, and they were in Inga's private quarters. That person is our only hope now. We keep bringing her up, but they won't go there. So the defense believes there was another. Let's have your very serious answer, then. With pleasure. Here's my book, by the way. Horned Devil! Who could have channeled Minister Inga? <sighs> you guys ready for this? Are you ready? Take that! Nana? Your eminence said it yourself. That's right, Nana never did go into the tomb that day. Instead, she entered my husband's private quarters. Ah! How do you know? It's quite simple. I have cameras in there. I spy on him to make sure he's not jacking off or anything. Because I want all of his... Shoe prints were discovered in Inga's private quarters. Shoe prints that belonged to Nana. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And then there's her benevolence's statement. She said that Nana disappeared right after she entered Minister Inga's private quarters. The room from which Minister Inga himself came running out of long, not long afterwards. You are not seriously suggesting. Oh, but I am. I am purple stomach. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Nana channeled Minister Inga and left his private quarters thereafter. That's why no one has seen her since. Mm -mm. It's getting good, y'all. So, my toilet even agrees. Ah, uh, no way! Yes way. That's gotta be it. Nana must have somehow channeled the minister. But if that's true... She's in the bloodline, which means other things, certain good things for me! All of the circumstantial evidence has fallen into place. You can't ignore it anymore. You can't claim Nana isn't connected to this case somehow! In light of this, the defense calls Nana once and for all to the stand! Can we have it? Well, Your Eminence. You're backed into a little bit of the corner here now, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> that was a nasty laugh. Very well then, let us call Nana to testify. Good. Yes, now we can finally crack this case wide open. Let us adjourn while the witness is summoned. Oh. There is no need. Nana is in the waiting lobby. What? Nana's here? How about she gone missing? Well, I brought her back. It seems she was feeling unwell and simply wished to rest undisturbed. But her concern for Rafa brought her here today. She took time off without Rafa's knowledge or consent. I know, that's weird, isn't it? I'm betting there's more to her disappearing act than meets the eye, Apollo. Ooh. Oh, there she is. Hello there, beautiful. 
Look at you, you ain't that old. Miss Naina, do you understand why you have been summoned here today? How'd you get your- oh god. What are you wearing on your head? Why didn't I notice that the first time? I was looking at her face. Is this the first time she's spoken? Like, with an actual name tag? Because usually she just whispered in Rafa's ear. Wow. Yes, of course. <laughs> Her eminence has informed me that this man here suspects I have committed a crime. So this is Nana. That's quite the hairdo. Shut up, Sonny. You can't do much better, I see. Though I will say. <laughs> I suppose I'm not as old as I had thought. I'm not going to do that. SH thing for every S sound because that's distracting. I need to be able to pay attention to what they're saying here, so try to keep the voice as fairly normal here or close to it as possible. If this horn headed income poop would take me for a criminal. Income poop? Where'd you learn that? Oh wait, I think I know. Isn't that Rafa's favorite insult? I guess Nana rubbed off on her, well with all the time they spend together. You there, young hornhead. Yes? What is it? <laughs> You're accusing me of late slaying Minister Inga and channeling his spirit, yes? What an active imagination you have. Young folks are so wonderfully open-minded. Glad to think so. Just take the compliment, Justice. Yeah, just take it. Now then, will the witness please proceed with her testimony? Dear God, I'm loud all of a sudden. This court wishes to know if you did or did not channel Minister Ingo in his private quarters. Did you do anything else in there? Wow, it's so weird. Now she's like, her face and everything is like facing toward us. It's different. It's weird. It's unusual. Like, could you imagine what would what would Mother Brain look like from the front? We'll never know. We've only seen her from- well, I don't know, Elder M probably showed us at some point. I don't even care. I'm no spirit medium, Sonny. I was feeling under the weather yesterday, so I decided to rest these weary bones. Besides which, a lonely servant such as I could not poss possibly be an honorable spirit medium. Only members of the royal family can learn the art of spirit channeling here in Karine. After Queen Amaro's passing, her eminence Queen Garan is the only spirit medium left. If you believe a medium to be the culprit, it would have to be that young lass, Maya Fey. And there you have it. It seems we have summoned her for nothing. Only those of the royal bloodline have the power of spirit channeling. That a servant such as Nana could channel spirits is a most unamusing jest. It sure is, isn't it? On the surface, anyway. At the time. But our line of reasoning has led us to this end, that Nana channeled Inga's spirit. Alright, the defense may now question the witness. What are we doing here? How fast are we going to get to this? Like, seriously, how fast is this revelation going to come? If I'm even right! I can only speculate at this point. I'm no spirit medium, Sonny. Oh well. 